What's up, everybody? It's Overkill Reviews, but it's another bootleg edition. Woo, let's do this. How y'all doing? We got a bunch of new subscribers from that whole Shredders of Metal thing. If you haven't watched it, check it out. I'm the host. It's a great time. But for you new people to the camp, this is Banger. And hey, we've got a little something extra if you like the YouTube channel. We've got a Patreon campaign. You can give some money, support us. But hey, it's not all take. We give back. There's behind the scenes. There's uh, your questions answered. Every month, uh, all the banger people release a little tip sheet for all the fun underground stuff we're listening to so you can catch some stuff you might have missed. And there's also uh, sexy cosplay pictures of me. Wait, that's just the rest of Patreon. Uh, it, it's not on that. Don't, don't, go, don't go there looking for that. Um, but yeah, what the, I'm distracted. Let's do a review. So, why is it a bootleg review? Well, because the band we're reviewing is kind of bootleg. And Puppy Umbrella's back because it's a left-wing political band. Get ready for a shitstorm. Neckbeard Death Camp is a band, uh, maybe. There's really not a lot of information on their Bandcamp page. What I've garnered is they're uh, based out of Chicago, despite the fact that the Bandcamp page says Bordeaux, France, which is, of course, a reference to the location of famed YouTube vlogger Varg Vikernes. That's his main job now. I think they're using fake names. Um, I'm not sure. I'll read them out and you can decide. So, uh, we've got Kriegmaster Hatestorm on vocal, piano, noise, and production. We've got Super Commando Uber Wiener Schnitzel on guitar and bass, and Hales Comrades on drums. You decide. So, let's get this out of the way at the top. Yes, this is a satirical black metal band, and boy, is it funny. Uh, personal song standout title, Triple XL Overstorm Fuhrer Leather Duster. Funny stuff. And the lyrics go even harder. Uh, Werewolf Warrior of the Fuhrer with a V. Winded by a flight of stairs, again with a V. That's a spicy meatball. If you're a left wing person, this is a black metal that's music to your ears. Although I guess it's music, so it's music to everyone's ears. Except maybe your grandmother. Ah, that's not music. Turn off that racket. Get those colored people off my lawn. Ah, your grandma's racist. And hey, if you're offended by this, you might be too. I've lost my point. Where was I? Okay, pretty much this is Richard Spencer getting punched in the face of the band. But hey, this ain't no poetry slam review channel, right? This is music. Let's get to the music. So, if you ever used to comb blog spots for obscure, weird black metal demos to download off Rapid Share, you'll be right at home here. The music has got that raw production, but in this case, it's raw by choice, not by necessity. So it doesn't really muddle anything or interfere with what you're listening to. I mean, we got a lo-fi review of a lo-fi band, so hey, we're gonna play a clip, but you know it's gonna be lo-fi. I can listen to that. Guitar-wise, they're sometimes actually producing some pretty catchy riffs for a band that probably could have sold almost the exact same amount of copies uh, based solely on gimmick alone. Opening songs, uh, The Left of the Real Fascist and Please Respond, in brackets I showed you my penis, <laughs> are uh, both uh, surprisingly passable black metal songs. Drum-wise, uh, obviously black metal, you heard it. Uh, a lot of blast beats, but there are some times when it breaks up as well. There's a little groovy section to Triple XL Oberstorm Fuhrer Leather Duster. And there's some uh, on uh, Left of the Real Fascist, some fun little, little, little use of the bell part of the cymbal. Ding, ding, ding. I like it. This isn't uh, pure black metal release by any respect though. More of a black noise kind of thing going on. There's uh, a lot of noise elements sprinkled throughout the whole album, especially uh, the vocals. They, uh, Real noisy. There's a thick layer of reverb over them, which gives it a cool cavernous feel uh, and makes it suitably nasty for the subject matter, despite the fact that that subject matter is completely incomprehensible. Uh, you can't understand anything that's being sung, um, but the band was considerate enough, and also probably because they wrote some funny lyrics and they wanted people to see them. Uh, they tagged all the uh, MP3s with the uh, lyrics, so good job for that. 
And there are some tracks that I would even kind of consider more noise tracks. Um, Incel Warfare is just a wall through the whole thing, except for a little guitar lick in the middle. Similar story for uh, Zyklon uh, B. Funny little uh, message board dig there. They both could actually fit in pretty well on the, uh, the last Blue Dust Nord record, you know, just kind of scary, spooky, harsh stuff. There are some shortcomings that I can admit despite loving the subject matter. If you take the intro and outro tracks out, we're sitting at about 18 minutes of music, which isn't a lot. It's also not the most technical release, so if you're looking for that, you better check somewhere else. I will say it is fun, and I don't think that's what they were going for anyways, because the guitar player for my investigation seems to pretty much exclusively play in brutal death metal bands otherwise, so probably on purpose. I do think they could have added a couple more pieces of flair to get up to the prerequisite 15 or the ideal 27. The intro track, which is a, a, a screwed up Alex Jones sample, which I actually enjoyed despite the fact that I hate intro tracks because they did kind of turn it into a song and it was funny. Why not sprinkle some more weird uh, samples throughout the album? You guys seem good at that. And uh, if you combine that with a couple more guitar flourishes and maybe a, a weird fill here or there, this could actually be a really great band to listen to, you know? I mean, you guys are already going weird. Let's really weird it up to the limit, right? There is something that kind of negates a lot of the criticism though, and that's, uh, this is a $1 Bandcamp release. $1, take it for what it is. It's a demo of a side project that was a fun and funny idea, and I think they executed what they were going for, and I like it, and I will actually listen to this. You know, the lefty Lucy and me really wants to give it a, uh, Four out of five, but if I uh, put my reviewing hat on and uh, actually do my job for once, I think uh, the best I can give it is uh, three and a half skulls that are still laughing at Bathe Your Bones in Baja Blast. Ah, I know the review's over, I forgot. I know for the Marduk review, we uh, did a little warning at the start that there might be some Nazi sympathies going on there, and uh, if that bothers you, you should listen to it. Uh, I realized we forgot to do that for this one, so uh, if uh, anti-fascist bands do bother you, uh, you can uh, uh, check out a little thing we, uh, we wrote about that on the, uh, the link provided here. Shoutouts! Shoutouts time! I've got two good shoutouts for you this week. Up first, Mongols Cross, Psalter of the Royal Dragon Court. It's uh, out on Hell's Headbangers. It's uh, black and thrash, got a nice kind of old school feel to it. I really dig it, and you know, Hell's Headbangers, they're, they're trustworthy, you can trust those guys. And hey, if you want some more uh, guilt-free left-wing black metal, Void Ritual put out Death is Peace on iPost Music, uh, left-wing label, and clearly left-wing band because uh, it's a one-man American black metal project. This record, all the proceeds from it are going to uh, the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women, so pretty good cause, and you get a record out of it. And it's got uh, a little more legitimate of a release than this one, if this one was too raw for you. So, that's it for the week. Uh, thanks for coming out. If you're new, uh, this one's a little silly, but you know, we've got reviews going up every Friday and then an underground review going up every Monday or Tuesday. So, we got lots of content coming out for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Come on back, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Just, you know, party with us, dude. <laughs>